and if I goose it too much, it's going to slide the whole truck toward his truck, so that's kind of goofy. Dan Baker rode out the storm in Johnson City and woke up Wednesday stuck at his hotel. Over in Binghamton, Shakia Johnson was just returning after being trapped across town. I can't be stuck again today. I got to get to my children. This is what I had to come out my friend's house like this, and now I got to get in my house. And I'm stuck looking. Everything is a story after the surprise record-breaking snowfall. Lumps resembling cars dotting nearly every city street, touches of irony around each corner, and residents helping each other navigate unplowed roads. I drove by and saw him, so I towed him out with my truck. For many, digging out was a back-breaking, hours-long process. That is, if you're not the driver of this train in a week out, or those who saved the trouble for another day. <laughs> We've also been watching your videos and photos that have come our way. Some displaying the work it takes to free yourselves from home, others showing off the Southern Tears sense of humor. That's my neighbor. He just like... <laughs> It's just crazy. Oh my goodness. Winter may have gotten one more laugh in this time, but the images of everyone banding together gives us the say over how this storm will be remembered. In Johnson City, Nick Papantonis, 12 News.